Hello again, welcome back to Afternoon Live. Look who is here, you'll know who they are. More than 19 million of us tuned into Britain's Got Talent on Saturday, to not, Saturday night to watch this lot. Diversity snatch victory from the favourite Susan Ball. Fresh on their success, here they are. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. We just spoke to Piers Morgan, as you probably heard. He actually tipped uh, your rivals, didn't you? I hope you're not yeah. angry with him. Oh, no, like, like I said, you know, dance is just an expression of, you know, what you feel to the music. And if Piers, if Piers preferred them on the night, everyone's entitled to their opinion, you know? But he said he thought our performance was good as well, so... How, how have the last 24 hours been for you guys? Wow, whirlwind, just crazy. You know, we haven't haven't had much sleep, have we? We've been doing like interviews, talking to people. It's just been, but it's been really exciting, but at the same time, just really tiring as well. You you guys have been together for a long time, haven't you? And you've done various competitions. When you first put that form in for Britain's Got Talent, uh, could you see yourselves in the final? Not, not I don't know. We obviously you aim to do as, as well as as well as you could, yeah. And I I wanted to get to the final all along. That's where I wanted to be. But that was good. That really was good enough for me. So winning is just. Unbelievable. Do you realise how different your lives are going to be over the next year? I don't think so. Probably not yet. I still <laughs> I mean, it hasn't even sunk in. We won. We haven't even thought past that, I don't think, at the moment. Just, we're still kind of trying to get our heads around the fact we won, let alone think about our lives in the future. What, what is there for the next week, for the next month? What, what are you doing? Um, I was planning to be back in work tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I've had to call them up and say, um, might not be in for a few days. So we've got the tour coming up. Um, in about a week, is it a couple of weeks' time? A week's time. Um, obviously, the Royal Variety Show as well near the end of the year. But we're open to, to whatever at the minute. It's, it's so early, we don't know. Can't wait. I'm, I'm going to talk to Perry and Mitchell down here because you're 13, you're 12, you're 13. You're, sorry. You should be going back to school, shouldn't you, after your half term? Yeah. What's going to happen? You know, I reckon everyone's going to be excited because everyone's behind me and they've been voting and they've rang me and everything. And are they going to give you some classes while you're on tour as well? I um, think we get a tutor. Get a tutor. <laughs> now, uh, yeah. fair enough. Are you guys going to carry on working afterwards or are you all going to hand your notice in? What happens? Well, I mean, dancing, obviously, is what we want to do. If we could dance as a career 24-7, that is exactly what we want to do. And hopefully that, that is going to be a reality for us. But it's so early days yet. We only won... Like what, a day ago now, two days ago? Yeah. It's gone so quick. <laughs> we, all we know is it was really recently, obviously, so... Ashley, you are an incredibly, incredibly talented choreographer. I mean, anybody who watched all of the performances, um, the ideas that you have... I mean, have you had any training? Where do mm. they come from? No, I mean, we trained at the dance school that's run by uh, my mum and dad. Um, so my mum taught me to dance and I've just carried on and... It just, I don't know where I get it from, just inspiration from everyday experience. I just take it, I can take it from anywhere and everywhere. It's just, I don't know how I get it, but it just, it just happens. Yeah, well, you're amazing. Thank is, you. is he a good teacher? Does he uh, boss you about? Uh, I mean, he doesn't really boss us about or anything like that. Well, obviously, because we're so close together and friends and family, you know, everyone just bonds really well, so. Yeah. Actually, we, d we talked about the pressure and obviously Susan Ball, everyone's concerned yeah. about her today. I mean, I'm sure you'd like to say a word about Susan as well and how, how you can cope with these things. See, I've said this to people before, and that's that Susan, she got, must have a lot of support from her friends and family, but we're in this together as a group, and we're really close. So when you're on the stage, when we're doing interviews in the media spotlight, we've got each other all the time. But when, when you're a solo like, artist, it must be hard, because you've got a lot of pressure to deal with on your own. And Britain's Got Talent People, the production company, they look after you. Oh, yeah, great, 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 great group great. of people. Met some really amazing people over the time. Well, good luck over the next year. Really, really well done to you. Uh, lots of people watching. Everybody just wants you to do a few moves, and I'll get out of the way in case, you know, you step on me. <laughs> Come on, then. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll give you, we'll give you a little taster. Of something, uh, you know, something quite serious for you guys. Right. All right.